toes and towards the tail is Red Publisher, but by the 550 they travel, and over on the inside the Great Southerner had led the way Corporate Larrikin, he hadn't gone out and established a big break as usual on his outside flying time, here come the runs from off him, Variation Red Aura, brushing leather together coming around the corner, there the two closing in, Variation races up grabs the lead, Corporate Larrikin flying time, Red Aura's gone, behind them Settlers Creek followed by Max Almighty Parnham draws the whip on Variation Zuccaros is getting a run over towards the inside. Down the outside comes Red Publisher. It's Red Publisher coming at Variation. They went to the line of bobbing. Finish a thriller there in the Diggers' Cup. I'm not sure. Variation, Red Publisher. What a run. He's come from the tail of the field and has joined the favourite right on the line. Leave it to the judge. And Zuccaros was getting home along the rail. In behind the Mickey Two Toes, Settlers Creek, Max Almighty. Followed further back, Flying Time and then Terror Force, Corporate Larrikin. And uh, Red Aura has put in an inglorious performance finishing back there with him amongst the last of them home. Bobbing finish here. And Variation might have got his head back psychologically on the line from Red Publisher. Heads up and heads were down and on the line it'll be Variation that gets the bob. Variation, Brad Parnham with a double. Variation making it the Raconteur Diggers Cup double. Made his run with Red Aura, who gave naught at the top of the straight after levelling up with him. And uh, they'd quickly established what was going to unfold at the 200 for a moment. Then all of a sudden, from the back, came Red Publisher, the Lancel and Gulliver, with a big run, but he fails by a narrow margin. Number six variation, 123.89, has just won from Red Publisher, Zuccaros was threading a passage over towards the inside to grab third ahead of Settlers Creek. Mickey Two Toes made ground after getting held up a bit behind a wall of horses in the home straight. And he's not far away from picking up one either. Variation by Warchant from Fleeting Angel for Jeff Wilson, Mick Walsh, Neil Gill, Peter Ensel and Arthur Barrett. Trained by SJ Miller, ridden by Brad Parnham. It's been a great day for the Parnham clan. Winners here in WA, Victoria and also in Adelaide also. And variation, 2.10 and $1.10 has now won his fifth race in 10 starts. Red Publisher, big run. Massive effort by publishing from QP Doll, trained by Ash Maley for himself, R and G Hummerston, Sean McGruddy, 5.90 a place. And Zuccaros by Hurricane Sky out of Daring for Reg Webb, B Band, Dennis Thompson, Bill Rigg, trained by Jeff Durant, Jason Miller, written by Clint Johnston, Porter, 5.50. Settlers Creek fourth, a short head and a length and a half were margins there after the running of race number six on the card. So a, a narrow victory to variation. This very, very good three-year-old, the Guineas winner from back in the spring. He's now had the three starts this preparation with a good second in the Breeders in Bunbury and then, of course, the listed raconteur and now the Diggers' Cup this afternoon. The 3200 RSL WA Western Australian Cup next at 4.15 is clear of changes. As we head downstairs and uh, Adam McGrath is with uh, the winning trainer, S.J. Miller. SJ, we spoke before the race and we looked at your $2 favourite, looked at treat in the yard, the preparation had been great, but when you looked at the speed map, there were a horse that was going to be well and truly out in front and you may be the one doing the donkey work and that was exactly how it played out and that was the danger in this race. Yeah, it was, Adam. Um, you know, I, I had to talk to Brad before the race and um, probably didn't want him to be in that position, but as you said, that's the way it was going to turn out. And um, I think, personally, I think the horse is a better chaser um, and, you know, he sort of, today he was going to be vulnerable because of the weight and getting up against older horses and, um, you know, look, to his credit, he's a tough little bugger and he tries his heart out. Well, you mentioned the toughness and hard out and with no disrespect to Red or at all, but they were both side by side and if you have a look where they're finished respectively, it just shows how big your run was. Yeah, that's for sure, you know, and, and look, he, he is only a little kid, um, you know, racing against older horses and he, he sort of earned his stripes to be there, but it, it, it's pretty tough on a young horse like him, you know. Guinea's bound as well. That'll be interesting to see with what we've seen from this horse, the way it's going. It should be a really good performance. Yeah, well, look, at it, um, it'd be a feather in his cap if he won, um, won the Belmont Guineas as well, but, you know, we're not looking... We're just looking to look after the horse and sort of... Um, Hopefully he'll, uh, he'll have a little break now and hopefully he'll come up for it. 
whatever you're doing, mate, you're looking after it because it's running sensational. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll grab winning jockey now, Brad Parnham as well. What a day it has been for the Parnhams. We had Brad winning the first on the outsider in a four-horse field. We've had Stephen Parnham winning for Dad on Malibu style. We've had Chris Parnham winning in Adelaide. And now you take out the Diggers' Cup. I'll tell you what, maybe when the family gets back together tomorrow night or Monday, you might be able to have a bit of a celebration. Yeah, um, it's been a great day for us all, really. Um, it's my pop's birthday as well, so it's good that we could all get a winner for him. Uh, all in different states, so, you know, it's the first time it's happened for us. Um, yeah, hopefully it can happen more in the future. Yeah, amazing what racing can do. Now, let's tell us a, a bit about variation. We sp spoke to SJ there. You were always going to have to do the donkey work. That was a big danger in this race, but, geez, he's tough and he's come on well. Yeah, he has. I, you know, I'm lucky he's a pretty good horse. I, I was a little bit annoyed with the way it sort of worked out for me. I, I was happy during the run, but I was just forced to have to go a little bit earlier than I wanted to when Red Aura was coming around me. If I didn't pop out, I was going to get caught in a pocket. So I just had to go probably 200 metres earlier than I wanted to. Um, but yeah, like, like I say, I'm just thankful that He's a good horse and he was able to sort of hold, hold the rest of them off. You mentioned last start when you won him that you're just surprised, or, or yeah, you are pleasantly surprised how much this horse has improved. But again, from that performance, does it just surprise you again that, I mean, this is a serious animal? He is a serious animal. Um, we've worked that out now, you know. He's, he's just sort of taken the next step every time. And this is his first time, I think maybe his first time that he's raced in older companies. Definitely his first time he's raced in the older company in this sort of grade. And, um, to win the way he did, oh, you know, he he stands out as a pretty solid horse to me. I, I think he'll come back as a very nice four-year-old next year and they should target some pretty good races for him. Now I've asked every jockey about it, the excitement of a 3,200 metre event. You ready for it? Yeah, I am. Um, I look forward to it. Uh, you know, we only get one of these a year, so um, I've probably got a, a rough chance in the race, I think. I know my horse will stay, that's, that's one thing I know, so I might just ride him cold early and... Um, yeah, just sort of slowly let him let him come into it from the 800 or something, and yeah, hopefully I can outstay them. But it should be should be a good spectacle spectacle for everyone, and yeah, I'll hopefully I get another winner. Congratulations, mate. There's Brad Parnham, winning jockey aboard of the winner variation, a double for him, and continuing a great day for the Parnhams.